microphone's way up there. There we go. There we go. That's better. Hey guys, this is RLC321. Welcome back to another Star Trek The Original Series Ravel Model Kit Enterprise build. Bloody hell, that's a mouthful. I've really got to sort on these, these bloody titles up. Anyway, so after the, the last video where we discussed about the lighting, I can't finish the, the Voyager yet. I've got my grandson staying over. And... Um... I, I'm not gonna. He, he sleeps in the in his cot in the in the bedroom. So I work in my bedroom. So I'm not gonna be able to spray. Okay. So you, you're gonna have to wait until at least tomorrow afternoon. Um, where hopefully you should see the video because he's going back to his mum and dad's on Sunday morning. And so I make start on doing the voyage video then showing you how what I use to gloss it with and everything like that. <clears throat> so I thought I would continue with doing this one. And we're gonna talk about lighting. No, we're not gonna talk about it, we're actually gonna do lighting and then test things out. But before we do, I wanna take it off these bloody things. Because they are a pain in the ass. Now what I wanna do is cut as close to here as you possibly can reason being if you look here where well, I first done I've done this on purpose there you go oh I'll just hit you can see it's like got a slight indent in there now that's not good we want a little bit of the sprue left over so we can just sand it away so always cut just a little bit further away from the model kit as possible okay Always. Yep, there we go. And I'm gonna keep that. Always keep, always keep your spoon bits because you never, never know when you're gonna need them. And we need the other part. Now my my quandary that I'm I'm having at the minute, right? Do I put the windows in first, then paint it, or to put the the mask hole on all the windows and then paint it, or do I paint the outside first, at least with the base color? And then go go ahead with it. I don't know. What do, what do you guys think would be probably be best? Um, let's say I'm I'm out of conjure at the minute. I, I wanna I'm going along the lines of thinking it's probably best to just paint it. Uh, because I can obviously put the windows in after. But then at the same time, we'll put in the windows in um, <clears throat> not putting the windows in interfere with how I'm gonna light it. No, it shouldn't do. It should. It, it shouldn't do. It should be fine. It should. It. It should be fine. Okay, right, okie dokie. So that's that there. Okay. Next. Bridge section. We need the bridge section. And we got the bridge section coming up. Um. As I said, I'm not putting the clear parts on yet, so we're not worrying about that. I'm just wanting to have a look to see exactly what I've got to work with there we go All right now we can come in with our nippers here and get quite close and get it down as close as we can and then it's very very minimal cleanups to do then because what when you have it on the spoon and you're trying to cut here it's putting a lot of pressure on the model because you've got a lot of build up here but whereas now you see no pressure on the model no indentations no holes nothing so this is what we want to do and snip 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 uh, right. now obviously when you're doing this you want to be careful not to snip the actual model kit because that will just make you cry I've done it before in the past. Yes, I have. And it, and it does it, it it makes you want to cry. Cuz then once you've got these done, we can then go in and just sand them off. I'm not going to worry about sanding them off right now. Cuz I think everyone's seen everyone knows how to sand. Does everyone know how to sand? I hope everyone knows how to sand. Right, just in case you don't know how to sand. <laughs> um, with something like this, it's relatively easy. You don't need a, a really tough grade sandpaper. 
I'm, I'm using one of these sanding sticks. It's, it's got a rough edge here, a slightly less rough edge here, and a buffing edge there. So, starting off with the black, we just give it a quick, quick going over until it goes flat. La 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 la. And when you rub your finger on it, you'll be able to feel whether it's done it or not. No, just a little bit more left. Yeah, man. A little bit more. And I've still got a little tiny bit. Well, these are just shit. Look at that. Look. That's what you get for paying pennies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't pay a lot for these. I think I paid like four ninety nine for this a set of these. Right, okay, so now that's pretty much almost gone. I can still feel a very, very slight lip, so I'm still going to continue doing it till it's completely flat. There we go. Then we go with the the white one. This is just going to help buff it all, get rid of any scratch marks or anything. And last but not least, we use the final side, and that makes it all nice and smooth. So there. Now, if we look at one that we've done, where where, where is where is one that we've done? Where are you? There. So. You see that's one that we've we haven't we haven't done yet and then we get to our one see it's now all gone well it's kind of all gone. i think it's got still a light lip there but either but that's that's pretty much what what you how you sand it so any hoozle <clears throat> what i need to do is get this bad boy hooked up to this bad boy Okay, that fits quite well. All right then. Okay, that fits really well. Interesting. Oh, I didn't. To be honest, I didn't didn't think it would. <laughs> I don't know why. I just didn't think it would fit <coughs> really, really well. So what I am going to do to give it some good adhesion I'm going to be using this bad boy um, and I'm going to be putting quite a bit of paint on here paint glue even because I want these to bond really really strongly And let's get me tweezers and plunk it on there. Now there is a little bit of glue just on the outside there, so I'm going to very, very quickly wipe that off. <coughs> Okay. okay make sure that's all in correctly right okay so that's going to give us an idea of how what we've got to work with on on there so anyway let's put this this thing back on which way went in that way you go in there lid where to put the lid Oh, there's the lid. There we go. Right, okay. As I say, I love doing this unscripted because you never know what I'm going to do next. So we're going to put that aside to let that dry. And now we're going to get our LED tape. I've already taken off the the end there. 
So to start off with, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like. Not too sure how I'm going to do these this just yet. I might have to put this sort of like here, but then it's going to be too bright. Or I might get rid of this peg altogether. That might benefit me more, getting rid of that peg. It might do. But anyway. So let's, I'm not going to stick these down or anything. I'm just going to put these on. And as I say, these are all going to be in groups of three. So I want one. I'm going to want one there. Come to Papa. Come on. There you go. Two. Three. Four. Right. So next is in there. So I'm going to want one to go there, and then on this, oh no, I think I've got a better idea. This one I'm going to put down, this here I'm going to put down here. Okay, I will tell you the reasons for that in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to put this one down here, okay, the, and then I'm going to put two here, on here, okay, because then they will light down, down to like these, and this will light up to hopefully light in here, yeah. Now another thing <clears throat> I wanted to talk about as well, I've actually found the PCB boards and, and everything that I'm that I'm going to buy to make the flashing lights for this. Yes, I finally, finally found them. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it took me a little while. They're, they'll be coming from Germany, so if when, when I get some money to order them, probably not going to be until at least the end of the month. Where they get, well, they might get in a little bit sooner than that. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to be doing. And these... Um, I'm actually wondering if you have one then have just a longer strip there. I think a longer strip might be too much. No, just just put another let's grab another um another region of flip here. There. So one there, one there. Okay. Right. Now that should light up enough inside inside there but then I still want to put at least one in here um, to help light the uh, I don't know I'm gonna have to think about this one a little bit a little bit more about how I'm gonna do because I, I need the, the domes to light up it this might give off enough light it might I'm not entirely sure about that so what I'm gonna do now I am going to... Where's my blue tack? Really? My blue tack's gone? Where's... Where? Oh, balls. Right, anyway. I'm going to solder these up. And just so you just so you know, I'm going to just grab one of these. I mean, I've already done soldering before. I'm a Voyager build so you can if you want to know a bit more about soldering and things like that please go ahead and watch that but this one we are going to be do it i'm still i'm going to read read revisit because i mean there may be new newer people that don't, don't want to watch voyager because they don't like voyager and things like that so i'm going to show you how to do it on this when you have an led ribbon like this no like that focus You, you can, you, you can, no, come on. Focus on me, there we go. Right, you have a 12 volt just at the top 
and the negative at the bottom. So your power lead will get soldered into there. Your negative lead will get soldered into there. That's just in case you didn't know. Also, on an LED itself, let's go over into my box of tricks. Let's grab an LED. Let's grab an LED. Oh, by the way, my, my flashing orange LEDs have come in. I'll show you those in a minute. Let's just grab... Just give me what. Fine. You give me one then. Because I shouldn't wanted to show this anyway. So you, you, you come here. Thank you. Hey. Right. So when you look at a normal LED, normally, normally, the longest wire here, which is called the anode wire, will be your power, your positive. The shorter lead is normally the negative. Now, these will always need to have a resistor. I use 470 ohm resistors and I'll be putting them on all of the LEDs. Okay, the LED ribbon, there we go, already has a resistor built in. So this doesn't need additional resistor. But this does. Now, as I said, this is the flickering orange LED that I was after. Uh, let's grab that, put that in there. Now, the, the, uh, I am not 100% sold on this just yet. As you can see, it is flickering. And I'm going to have about four of these. Oh, I think my battery is running down. <laughs> I'm going to have four of these. Yeah, the battery's running dead. Um, inside the kit. Inside the, the, the um, Bussard collectors. Okay. I think it will work. Ouch. Yeah, got to watch that. I didn't put a resistor on that. That was getting quite hot. So, got to be careful. I might keep this aside just in case I've nearly burnt it out. So I'll keep that aside just in case. So I'll make sure I use fresh ones. Because I've got 10 of them. They're like £1.99. And I need 8. 4 on each. Okay. But as I say, they, they all need... Uh, do you know what? I'll leave those there for the moment. Let's do... Put one of these... We'll, we'll solder one of these. So I can show you how to solder one of these. Then I'll sh show you how to solder one of those. So... You need your LED. Oh. Right, with your LED, what we're gonna do, we're going to just clamp it in there and hold it. We're also gonna grab our um, resistors here. And I want the 470 ohm resistors. That's what it says these are. So I'm gonna pull that one out and pull that one out. It's really, really warm in my room at the minute. So if I'm, if you see sweat dripping down, I apologise. But obviously with the bubby here, I can't have it too cold. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I am just going to wrap the resistor around the wire. Okay, just like that. Not like that, but just like that. Okay. Just like that. You know what? how I said about being prepared? Let me plug in my um, soldering iron. Yeah? That would probably be beneficial. So I'll be back once I've plugged in the soldering iron. Okay, guys. I'm now back. So. With our LED... Now in place, I'm just making sure the wires wrapped around nicely. Are LEDs in place? Can you? Are we going to focus on this? There we go. <clears throat> LED is in place in a helping hands here. Come on. There we go. Right there. And we, I have wrapped the resistor wire just around here. Okay. 
This is the part that we're going to apply our solder to. Okay. Just as soon as my solder line reaches the, the correct temperature. The solder I use that I, I do use is this one. It's 0.8 millimeter diameter. Um, <clears throat> what I like about this is it's already got. Um, I don't know if you can see. If I let's try and get this. See, there's a little titchy, titchy, titchy hole in there. Come on, focus on. No, focus on the hole. There we go. There we are. We getting? Is that too much for you? There's a little teeny tiny hole in there. That means it's already got um, rosin core already, which is kind of similar to the, the flux that you use to help it spread. It's already got that in, in there already. It's going to make my, li my life easier because I don't then have to um, dip paint a little bit or dab a little bit of the solder, the, the flux on here. I can just go ahead and just solder it straight in trying to get it where you can uh, uh, just about where you can see a little easier yes can I move it down oh that's better but that's that's a bit better isn't it you can just about see just about right so I'm waiting for the the solder to get hot so I'll bring it back as soon as it's ready yeah right, okay so solder nine is now good and hot what we want to do is want to try and tin the solder first but that does that's not happening so what we're going to do, we're just going to place the solder on, onto here. Don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And then, if we have a look, we should see that we're soldered. Where, where are we? There we are. We're now soldered together. So, if I take that apart now, I should be able to attach this. This is obviously the positive side now. So I'm just going to cut the excess wire away. And let's plug it into my, because I think I might, may have damaged that other LED by putting pure power on it. Because you should never put an LED onto power unless it's got a resistor one. Unless it's like a three volt power or something like that. But there we go. Don't know if you guys can see that, but that's. Yeah, the battery's not going dead. It was because I damaged the LED and burnt it out pretty much. Because that now isn't getting hot at all. Okay, Dan, can you see that how it's flickering on my finger? Yeah. You tell you what, let's switch off the light. Oh, no, I can't reach the light, and I'll hit the microphone. Right. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. There you go, that's a little bit better. I think, I think that's going to work. If I have four of those, that going on, on in the facade, it will look like something is happening. And it should, touch fing just cross fingers, fill up the light really, really well. So let me get my light back on. Oh yeah. So that's the orange LED and roughly what how it's going to be working so I'm just gonna put that back in there I'll show you it once because I still need to drill out the holes in the in the thing yet before I can do anything with it but now let's talk about putting some solder onto this bad boy so again it's, it's exactly the same way right, first of all before we put any wire onto here we need to in these connections okay so to do that we get our solder we put our solder onto the area and then we just touch the solder with our solder gun in theory 
should work. Right, I'm, what I'm going to do is moving around a bit too much. So let me try and change the angle of this just a little bit. Maybe that's going to... I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to try that again. I'm just going to heat up the copper area just a little bit with the solder gun, with the heat gun. There, so we've got one done. Let's do the other. And we got that one there. And there we go. So, dust you off a bit. That is now soldered together on a plus and a minus. Now, to show you that it is still working, we're going to get our plus, and I'm just going to hold it onto there. And we're going to get a negative, hold it onto there. And there we go, we've got our, our lights. Now, since we've done that, obviously I'm going to need to do it on all of these. But I'll, I'll do that later. We also need to add some wire to this. Come on, get, no. Come on, these helping hands are not being very helpful at the minute. There we go. Right. Wire, wire, wire. What should I use for wire? Um, I did have wire somewhere. Um, how much of the this have I got? Not a lot. So let's. I think I have somewhere. Let's see if it hasn't been thrown away. Ah. Uh. Okay, we'll just use what? <sighs> we'll just use the brown and the white for now. That is what we will use. Obviously, at the moment, this brown and white is far too much for my purposes. Um, what this is is just networking cable that I took the, the bits out of it. So, what I'm going to be using for the brown is going to be my live wire. And the brown and white is going to be my negative. All of my normal LED lighting that's not going into a circuit board is going to be done with this. Okay? So then I know to keep it, keep all of these separate. They're all going to go just into the main, pretty much into the main power. That's it. The flashing LEDs and the strobe LEDs. They have to go through two circuit boards, so one of them, if I remember rightly, um, you've got green, is going to be for the green LEDs, and I believe you've got an orange, and um, no, hang on, let's, let's get this right. The green is going to be for the, the red and the green LED. For the flashing LED, green red LED. And there is a blue one. Blue. Come to Papa. Come on. Come on, out of there. I mean, as I said, I've, I've, I need to dig it out and, and redo it. But again, there's a, a blue... There we go. A blue one with blue stripes going to be for the white flashing LEDs, which is going to be on the underneath. The green and red is on the top, the, um, the white is underneath. That's what I'm going to do. So I know I'm going to keep those, those colours separate. One is going to be for the, the flashing, the red flashing. The, the other is going to be for the white strobe. Yep, makes sense to me. So, I'm going to be using this for all of my normal LEDs. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to just melt the plastic off just here. And on the other side. Oh, 
Pull that off. Pull that off. There we go. Just give that a twist. Give that a twist. So, that is that. Now, before I go any further, I need to protect these, these connectors. And I bought myself a nice roll of heat shrink. Where's your gone? There you go. There you are. Now, obviously, I'm not going to need all of this much, so I'm just going to cut that much off at the moment. And probably that much is all I'm going to need. So, before I solder this on, I'm just going to thread all these wires in there. Is what I'm going to do. Just thread all the wires in there. So I've got that ready to go on once it's done. So next is we've got remember where our plus and our minus is and we're going to be using the normal brown, the th solid brown color as our plus, the white and brown as our negative. Okay. Now before we go any further, I want to tin these, so I'm just going to very quickly plug them in there. Get our solder, get that to hold the wire a little bit, so it heats up first. And then, I can put just a little bit of solder on there. And the same just here. There you go, that one's done better than the other one did. There we go. Right. So we've now tinned the wires. So put that back in there. So what we now need to do is add these wires onto here. So we're going to start with our positive lead. Okay. So I'm just going to... Why are you hooked on? Thank you. Give. There we go. So I'm going to heat up both the wire and the... Ouchies. The wire, I don't know, I've got a bit hot. Come on. Oh, why don't you want to play with me today? I think I had this problem last time where it just doesn't want to play with me. Come on. Now my helping hands are moving, which is not helping. Right. Right. Okay, that's one in. Now I need to get the other one in. Now the, the problem is you've got to watch that you don't. Um, God's sake, come here. That you don't melt the actual LED ribbon so you got to be extremely careful with this yeah, there we go okay so I kind of fucked up here yeah I did I did yeah because they're now both gonna be if I put the this heat shrink on 
they're going to potentially be touching. Yeah, they could potentially be touching. That is going to be an issue. So, two ways I can do around that is take that off completely. Cut a segment of wire because I don't need that whole long wire anyway. Unwind these bad boys. And put one on this side. And all I'm doing with the heat shrink, I'm just applying just a little bit of heat to the heat shrink so that it basically has now covered the wire. Now, another way of doing this is when you, because this is just the LED ribbon, what you can do, let me just quickly re rewire these. Just to make my life easier, keep the strands in all nice and neat. Is once it's in place, right? Because obviously, once you because you've got sticky tape on the back here, so you can stick it in, and then just put hot glue over the top. I mean, I'm going to be doing. I'm thinking about that. Uh, would have probably would have been better anyway. Just put the hot glue over the top instead. I'm just a nink and boop. Right, let's just cut these wires. And again, I want to check, make sure everything's still working. Okay, so we've got our positive, and we've got our negative, and everything is still working. All right, and then all that does, that's just going to get glued down into place, not glued down. It's gonna get sticky taped, which is easier said than done to get off. It's a pain in the backside, this stuff, because it's double sided sticky tape. I mean, even though right, the double sided sticky tape should hold it in place, now I'm saying should. So we're going to put our first first one in the series over here. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking roughly about here. Should be more than enough. Now the only way to really test that theory out is if I just quickly push these wires through there. Okay. Push those wires through there. Uh, loosely put this on. And when I say loosely, I do mean loosely. And let's wire up our battery. So we got our positive just here. No. Come here, now give me your positive. Your negative even. Give me a negative, yes. We don't like to be negative on this channel, but sometimes we just need the negativity, otherwise the, the positive won't work. Sage advice from me there. Sage advice. Right, so, before I connect that together, 
so we can do our test just to see what that's going to look like. I'm going to switch the light off. There we go. Right, so let's. Oh, that's actually quite good. Right. So, I don't know if you can see that there. That's actually lighting up pretty darn good. That's not bad. I mean, that's, that's lighting up a lot of it. So I might not need as many as I thought I did. Do you know? I don't. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you need? Do you think I need to probably do a bit more? Yeah, I think I'll probably do a bit more. I mean, obviously you still got the the starry bits where you can see the LEDs. But once I put the windows in, and I'm going to sand the windows down as well. Let's unhook that. So yeah, so that's a very quick, quick and dirty, I say quick and dirty, this video's been going on for uh, 43 minutes, and there's only going to be a couple of bits that are going to be cut out, and that's where I was having to go elsewhere, where I had to go get stuff and things like that. But yeah, there's your basic, very quick intro on lighting so what I'm gonna need to do now I'm gonna have to unstick this which is gonna be a pain in the ass but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be using super glue anyway unstick this solder all of the ends on all of them and connect them all up with little joints of um, wires so I've got wire going from there to there from there to there from there to there and from there That's it. I don't need any wire going from there. I just need to connect these because this is what's going to light them all. Okay. I may have the LED, the, the wire from here going to the wires that are going down here. That's probably going to be the better option as well. Yes. So, anyway, let me switch the light back on. Oh, bye light, bye light, bye light. Right, so anyway guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, which hopefully will be tomorrow when we do the... Did I drop that? Or did I just throw it somewhere? Um, well, blah, blah, blah. No, I'll throw it over here. Where we'll be doing the... Um, showing you how, how to gloss... Um, a Starship model using what I use. I'm not telling you what I use yet because that's all part of the, the thing. Yeah. What's the point in telling you what I use? That actually came off a lot easier than I expected. So, in my off time, I am going to be going ahead and gluing, uh, gluing, what the hell, soldering all of these together and getting them put in the saucer section. So, guys, thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.